All right, people. Um, we're dehydrating the uh, yellow crooked neck squash. We picked them out of the garden. We brought them in. We washed them. We sliced them up uh, one eighth inch to a quarter inch thick. And we got our uh, dehydrator here. It's a uh, Excalibur 3900. Each one of these trays, there's nine trays. Each tray is 14 by 14. And that's a, a lot of square footage. Now, that's uh, quite a bit of dehydrating. Uh, you take these out. And you can see how big they actually are. Uh, they're quite large and there's quite a bit of food on there. But uh, once you dehydrate them, they're going to shrink right down to barely nothing. But uh, when uh, you're ready to use them, you can just put them in a pot of water and let them soak. And they'll come back to where, what they are. And this is our first batch of yellow crooked neck squash and uh, we you when you're doing yellow crooked neck squash you gotta remember that uh, you have to um, you have to steam them or blanch them for two to three minutes uh, before you put them on in the dehydrator um, you, you uh, slice them up and then you blanch them then you put them in your dehydrator and it's around 120 degrees uh, and you want to dehydrate them until they're leathery texture you know I, I figure like a dry uh, cardboard uh, rubbery tight kind of texture uh, you can do dried apples the same way you know um, you get a peeler and you do, you you can uh, either peel them and slice them or you can just leave the peeling on you know it's more vitamins and minerals for you you slice them up and you do the same thing you just lay them out one one uh, layer on your dehydrator and the dehydrator comes the Excalibur comes with a a lot of uh, uh, cook recipes and cookbook and so forth so this is it uh, this is a simple process of uh, being able to uh, store your vegetables instead of trying to put them in some kind of root cellar where they're going to rot sometimes so hmm? I cannot speak <clears throat> you cannot you cannot can squash so you cannot speak. can squash no <laughs> You cannot can squash because it, it, it just doesn't work. With a botulism, it, it doesn't work very well at all. And what you end up with is a bunch of mush. And it just isn't very, um, it, it isn't very palatable. So dehydrating, when it comes to squash and so forth, it, uh, the dehydrating is the way to go. So we're going to hook this thing up, put the cover on it. Let you see that's Excalibur food dehydrator. This is a 3900 model. It comes with the better fan and the better system. You know, and it's just a really nice piece of equipment, especially if in these hard times. So we're gonna do 120. We got 125. That looks like about it right there. Now, this also gives you a leeway of what uh, the temperature is supposed to be. So it gives you a little up and down temperature because it, it, it varies. But uh, um, y'all have a blessed day, and when uh, they come out. I'll uh, show you another video. I think this is number three in our series of uh, dehydrating yellow crooked neck squash. So y'all have a blessed day.